bamboo is a great thing to resonate with because of how long it takes to actually grow at the very beginning. It's deep in the ground. And then when it does start to sprout and shoot up, then all of a sudden it grows very fast, very quickly. You could say it's rather gritty. It's not giving up, just like the miner is so close to the diamonds, the gold, but they can't see it and they give up. I feel that bamboo is a great way for me to be anti-fragile in my work. And then, of course, I know that there's a better tomorrow, hope for the future. And that's definitely something that I like to bring back and resonate with on a regular basis. Shutdown complete, which just means at 6 p.m. for me or around the time the sun sets, I'm going to be done working. And then that same time when I'm closing my laptop and done working for the day, I'll have eaten my last bite of food. And then the digital sunset, which goes in line with closing the laptop, but it also means putting the phones away. And of course, the television, you've got energy, focus, what's important now, and your consistency is not there. As in tomorrow, you do not show up energized, focused, or doing the needle moving activities. All of a sudden, that power that was about a million, when you have 100, 100, 100, it goes to one because you raise it to the power of zero consistency. And that ends up really not helping you maintain any momentum. And you also won't have that intense trust within yourself. The etymology of confidence comes from con fidere, intense trust within oneself. And the way you do that or the way you achieve that intense trust is by doing what you say you will do. Today started yesterday. And we have the most control over the beginning and end of our day. We are typically able to control the end of our day and that wind down routine. And of course, our morning mindset routine movement, in addition to the PM bookend, or as part of the PM bookend in this case, some of the fun things that I've done to help my sleep is I have a blackout curtain. Another one from James Nestor in his book, Breath is actually mouth taping. It doesn't need to actually cover your whole mouth. You can just do one little strip of scotch tape if you feel so inspired. And it allows you to focus on breathing through your nose while you're sleeping, as opposed to mouth breathing, which detracts from dental hygiene and also just doesn't allow your nervous system to fully relax. At 6 p.m., switch all the lights to red and there will instantly be less stimulating stimulation on my skin and my eyes so I can have the melatonin being generated as I go to sleep and the cortisol going down. The morning movement routine I feel is just as important as the morning mindset routine where I have currently my gratitude journal and my future vision journal so I can really get inspired. We want to make sure that we take in the nutrient-dense whole foods, not edible food-like substances, which is more challenging than it might seem, but it's also more rewarding than anyone might think. And once they give it the chance to really try and experiment with nutrition, they're able to uncover more lasting energy, as well as overall healthiness and just feeling better throughout the day, as opposed to struggling with energy crashes or any number of other more serious health consequences. We have our fundamentals of eating, moving, breathing, sleeping, focusing, celebrating, and prospering. You want your diet choices, what you're eating, to be sustainable. And that's definitely an important concept that all of habit building revolves around. If you're not enjoying it, and if you can't live a little, then you're not going to keep off any weight that you might have lost or any muscle that you might have gained, because you're going to constantly relapse. They also continue to spiral downwards. Go out and try and see what happens and how you feel. The science is still developing. 
really the best way to find out if it works for you, as long as it's not something you're already allergic to, give it a try in a food journal, track your energy levels, your digestion, all that to say nutrition is an experiment. When I've adjusted what I eat, my energy is longer lasting and I'm typically able to work and connect and show up powerfully. So I've definitely felt very pleased with that change, deep work. So those time blocks really empower you to dive all in and not have your phone in sight. That's challenging, but powerful. You might notice the deep connections when you're all at the dinner table and no phones are within sight or touch and how they're lost. If somebody, especially the person next to you, is suddenly on their phone texting, you're not going to connect with them as deeply. That's our focusing and then celebrating to really build those habits, especially the good ones that we want to maintain. We need to internalize and integrate the wins. So each time that we do something well, celebrate it. Okay. Forging anti-fragile confidence. Forge involves not just the activation energy of 32 or 212 or 451 for burning paper or boiling, but keeping it around 2000 to forge and really be able to make the sword or glass, whatever it might be, has to be constantly way up there. It doesn't mean you are sidestepping lizards. We're battling dragons. And that's ultimately why it's so important to do what you say you're going to do. You forge. It's that, that heat. You're constantly battling in the zone. And then the anti-fragility comes from getting stronger every time something kicks you. Fragile, resilient, anti-fragile. That's really the opposite of fragile. Or sorry, fragile says, handle with care or I will break. Resilient says that I can take a little beating, but eventually I'll still break. And then the anti-fragile ultimately will say on the box, kick me because it gets stronger. Obstacles make me stronger is our heroic mantra.